Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions to Alibaba and channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's 9 time in class again today, how have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to use the Select by Location tool on QGIS, right? Good, so now we have two vector layers. We have um, a boundary shape file of um, River State and then some points of interest in the whole of Nigeria, right? Good, so now we want to use that tool to select that select by location to rather to select them um, some points of interest that are within what um, river state right good so your case study might be different you can actually assess the select by location from this um, selection toolbar or you come to vector then under the research tools you can also see what um, select by location right good so now when the select by location window is open it creates a selection in a vector layer now the criteria for selecting fissure is based on what the special relationship between each fissure and the fissures in an additional layer right good so we want to select from the uh, points of interest where the fissures either intersect now these um, geometric predicates are actually important because it helps you to define the relationship between what you have here and then um, what you have here right good because that is the essence of what uh, well let's that is the criteria that um, this um, particular algorithm use so this particular algorithm uses rather so if we say intersect then if we also say are uh, within right good so depending on the predicate you want to use you can actually what um, specify them here by comparing them to this um, state boundary right good now for the modify current um, selection by we are creating a new selection we are not adding to current selection so if perhaps after creating this new selection we want to add to it we can use what this other option right good so selecting within the current selection we don't have any selection yet and then we'll be removing from what the current term um, selection maybe if we have created one and then we want to remove from it then this can come in right good so depending on whatever you want to achieve you can actually modify it to what to suit your to suit your case study so let's um, have the creating new selection and then we run good so now the selection has been done we can only confirm that when we open the attributes table of what the same um, points of interest layer and then we can see that we have about 740 selected out of over 9000 fissures right good so how do we display right good because they have been sorted so how do we display the selected fissures we click on the show all fissures drop down and then we select what show selected fissure so you can see they are actually selected right good so if you decide to zoom map to the selected rows and then you come over to your map you can see that as we said they are all falling within what the boundary of what um, of the state so if you zoom in you are going to see what the selection icon on them compared to the one that are falling what outside of the boundary which means um, these are some points of interest that are what that are within the state right good so if we still come up to this okay we can see the shark stadium the liberation stadium the yakugo one stadium so these are okay we have the mokoro market first bank so these are somewhat points of interest that are what that are within what the that are within the state right good so thanks for coming to class we hope um, we have provided a um, solution to this particular jazz problem on how to use what the um, select by location tool on QJS. So we are going to see you on the next tutorial. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.